Okay, this is a demo to show you some of the nice user-friendly features of Mojo Portal. We're looking at demo.mojoportal.com. You can sign in there using admin at admin.com and the password is admin. After you sign in, you'll notice you see some other links. You'll see edit links down at the bottom. You see the administration link, the file manager, new page, edit this page, page settings. Now these two links, edit this page, page settings, always apply to whatever page you're currently on. So those are the settings for the home page and to add different content or more content to the home page with the edit button. So first thing we ought to do is maybe create a new page. So I click the new page and I want to make it a root level page. And I'm going to call it my garden. It's going to suggest the Earl My Garden. I'm going to just accept that. Click the Create button. And then it created the page and redirected me to that page. And now there's a list of available features that I can put on that page. Now you can also put features on the page from the Edit This Page link. Actually, you can put it in different places. But when there's nothing on the page, we try to just show you right away, hey, let's get something on this page. HTML content is the most common thing you will put on a page and I'm just going to name this my garden same as the page and now I'm still on the page and there's a new content instance on the page it's got the title and it's got settings edit and this little lock here now the edit link as you might expect goes to an edit page where I could start editing and I could save it and go back to the page. But the other cool thing is you can actually edit right in line and that's what this little lock is for. If I click to toggle inline editing, I unlock it. Now I can just click right in here and the editor will appear. And now I want to put a picture in here. I'm just going to reduce the size here where I can drag a picture of my lettuce right in here. It's really booming this year. And let's see, I think I've got one here showing my tomatoes. Well, let's see, I want to scroll down to where I want to put that picture. I'm just going to drag it right in there. And now, to save it, all I need to do is click outside of the content and then I can click the lock button again and the cool thing to notice about the lock button or, or the automatic dragging and dropping of images I'll start with that is when you drag and drop an image in there it automatically create, creates a smaller web size image and it links it to the full size image so I click that and I actually get to the full size image and uh, notice though that if you're unlocked then clicking the image just takes you into the editor so you gotta be locked to be able to click a link if there's any link in your content you can't click it while the content is unlocked you have to lock it back and again the same functionality is available under the edit link uh, there's also ways of enabling content version history if you go into site settings check force content versioning now if I go in to my new page and I make a little edit Okay, now while I'm in here, I wanted to show you another little thing. You notice how there's a squiggly line under there because I misspelled tomatoes. Now what you can do, you notice if you just right click it, you kind of get a this little uh, menu that's not appropriate. But if you hold down the control key and right click it, now I get a spelling, uh, the built-in browser spell checker enabled. And I was able to change that and correct the spelling. So now I update it. And remember we enabled content versioning so where you might notice that is if we go to the actual edit page now we can see that the previous version was kept and if I wanted to compare it 
I could see the previous version and the current version and see that the new version has this highlighted text that's what's different about it. You could restore the old version if you really wanted to um, but you basically have a history of every edit. You can delete it later if you want to um, but it makes it kind of a safety net when you're editing content. You don't have to worry about big mistakes. Well that's the quick and easy stuff. Um, notice that there's a lot of other toolbars in the editor. There's uh, places to add uh, flash, embed media from like YouTube. Uh, you can also, in addition to the drag and drop, there's also an actual dedicated image button here that you can browse the server for existing images. So those are the ones we just uploaded. So, uh, and you can upload images from here as well. Uh, and you can also drag and drop or you can just select a file using the file browser. Well that's it for this quick video. We'll try to make some more videos pretty soon to document even more cool features of Mojo Portal.